third year of marriage that we learned is genuinely how to just let stuff go. Y'all walking up the stores asking people like, hey, you know any black barbershops around? <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Hey, y'all. It is Tuesday. Um, it's almost 1.30. And um, look at the beautiful flowers that my husband gave me for our three-year, baby, three-year wedding anniversary. Oh, and then, of course, he got me a <laughs> white chocolate raspberry nothing but cake buntlet. Nothing but cake, y'all. Me and Hyung keep saying that it really doesn't feel like we've been married for three years. But just like he said yesterday, what do you say, babe? Yes, every year we get better and better. Yeah, every year we get better and better. Yeah, every year we learn a little more, yeah. do a little more, grow a little more. Yeah. Oh, my baby. Yeah, we've been married for three years. We've been together for seven and a half years. Is this like, like you've been with me for seven and a half years? Still like 50. Shut up. <laughs> the best of the years of your life. Um, yeah, so uh, we're not really doing anything for our anniversary since we just got back from our trip last week, which is kind of like an anniversary trip. And of course, y'all saw that we went out to dinner last week for our anniversary. So this day we're just chilling. Um, Dion always gets me, it's like a ritual a tradition, like for like what birthday? Basically like birthday, anniversaries, and Valentine's Day. I think you usually do it. Yeah, he always gets me flowers. I told him this morning because, it, because he does it every holiday. So this morning when I woke up, I was like looking for my flowers because I know he always gets me some, but he had got some whenever he ran out. And then when he walked in, he had them. And I was like, oh, there they go. <laughs> Cause he always gets them. So yeah, I love my flowers. And he always gets different kinds. Um, Every time. Wait, what kind of flowers are these, you know? I don't know what kind of flowers are either. So you guys, hey, I'm officially back at work. At work. As you can see, I am at home. So fortunately, since we moved, I get to work from home. Um, but I'm, you know, working. My computer's over there. So I'm working. Um, but basically what I'll be doing all day, you know, every weekday from now on. Yeah, I have to run a quick errand or two quick errands during my lunch break, which will probably take here in a couple minutes. I have to go to the car wash, which we didn't do yesterday. And then I have to go to the UPS place, which we didn't do yesterday also because the UPS place was closed. So I'm gonna probably go run and do that during my lunch break and then come back here, finish working. Um, I wanna film a video today. I don't know what it'll be yet, but I'm thinking it'll be uh, my 2016 yearly favorites, um, basically focused on beauty. And record that and hopefully get it up on Thursday. That's about it. But you had anything else to do today? He'll be just chilling today because he starts orientation tomorrow, right? Yeah. So in two days, y'all, his life gonna be books, books, and more books. What's up, my people? What's up? What's up? What's up? Man, I feel horrible. I think I'm. Uh, my body's producing an allergy infection. And guess who has to hear it all night, all day? She doesn't and have then to. All night. You were just uh, oh, you were just my sneezing and no, you were just napping. And I was, was going to make you up and say, babe, you breathing way too loud. My breathing and sneezing and last night, y'all. Everything. I could not sleep last night because of him. What does she expect? She needs to be like, I oh, can... baby, can what can I do for you? But she don't do nothing. She's like, no, I see. No, I. She come kiss me on my no, forehead. No, I asked. Yeah, I do. And then I asked you like me some medicine and stuff, but she don't take medicine, so. She come kiss me on my forehead and she say, "Oh, baby." And I'm just like, Gina. I know, but the only thing that can help is medicine, but she don't take medicine, so. Just baby me a little bit. Give me some extra loving. But you don't have to baby you. I don't. I'm a grown man. You shouldn't be having to baby a grown man. So, ladies, if you're babying a grown man, you need to kick his broke eye to the curb. Okay, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, y'all, I just stop by to say what's up. I'm about to go to the what gym. Up? Starting off late again today. I don't feel good. Tomorrow, I'll be back to my 5 o'clock workouts, which, if I keep feeling like this, I'm going to be dreading the 5 o'clock workouts. Uh, I don't have training. I have orientation for 8 o'clock, so that means I'll be at here by 17. Hey, guys. 
So it is still Monday. It's seven, a little bit after seven, seven sixteen. Um, sorry, I was trying to figure out how I want to wear my hair. If I should pull it behind my ears or keep it in front of my ears, I don't know. I have to get used to this like long little part thing. I usually do if I do a full sewing or a full wig, I usually just do a side part. But I'm trying out a middle part this time. I have to get used to it because I usually don't wear middle parts in whenever I do. I have leave out but i haven't done a middle part in so long so it's taking me some time to get used to it but it's neither here or there so anyways um it's monday or what is it today tuesday night so i am off work now and i've literally just been sitting around watching sister sister dion was laughing at me because i wanted to finish the final season so i was watching the last couple episodes of the show and dion was like is it almost over <laughs> it's almost over but i just finished it so now i'm about to i don't know what i'm about to do probably start editing um the vlog for tomorrow but um yeah so now i'm just sitting here chilling um dion ran to go to the to the gym slash to go get a haircut <laughs> wait till he tells y'all his story of like how he found a barber um uh, if you guys don't know one thing me and Dion have noticed in the short amount of time that we've been here in Austin is that Austin is lacking people brown people people of color that people, not take the back not people of color black people um there's a ton of Hispanics here which is not a problem at all but there's a ton of Hispanics um and of course a ton of white people but there's not a lot of African Americans so whenever me and Dion go shopping or we go and go eat, we're usually the only black people in the entire establishment. So here in Austin, like we still feel comfortable where we are, but it's a matter of just literally getting used to being the only, only, literally the only black people. Literally the only black people um, in the area. That's just, I don't know, it's just kind of weird for us. But I said all that because I was laughing at Dion's story of like how he found a barber. He said he'll tell you guys whenever he gets back um, from his haircut, but <laughs> I was dying laughing. Anyways, yeah, he's out doing that right now. I'm about to probably heat up some leftovers and then start editing. But I wanted to not come to you guys and just talk. Um, it's so weird. I know I mentioned earlier that today is me and Dion's three year anniversary. And when I say it doesn't feel like it's been three years, it doesn't feel like that at all. Um, but it's so funny because marriage, don't get me wrong, marriage is hard. Anyone who tells you otherwise is not someday right. Because marriage is definitely, definitely hard. Um, it's not easy. I'll, I'll say that, it's not easy. Um, there's a lot that comes with being married. Um, I remember I was talking to one of my line sisters. A couple months ago and she actually just got married but she was asking me about like you know what changed when you got married and like you know things you should know and I was telling her I was like you know whenever you get married there's no more I you know you have someone else that you're doing life with someone else that you're walking through life with um and so with that you basically have to consider them and everything um whether it's finances whether it's actions whether it's trip or like your schedule or just whatever you always have to consider the other person and what you're doing and kind of incorporate them into your daily life and also it's just a matter of just getting used to having someone else to worry about um you know you're cooking whenever you're cleaning up you're cleaning up after two people um you know it's just it's it's you and someone else you're responsible for someone else just like they're responsible for you and um in the past three years, you know, me and Dion have definitely had our ups and downs. We've had some good times. We've had some bad times. And we can definitely say that, I, I mentioned it earlier, but we can honestly say that every year we get better, we grow stronger, and we just become more of a more of a team. Over the past, you know, three years, we've really learned how to work together as a team. We still are not perfect. We still have a lot of things we have to work on, but just him and I being who we are and being able to come together as two people um and just make it work um and not only that but genuinely love each other unconditionally genuinely learn how to communicate um genuinely learn how to the one thing we learned this this year and this year of marriage specifically this third year of marriage that we learned is genuinely how to just let stuff go and not saying let stuff go as in you know neon cheats and not forgive him like no, I'm talking about let stuff go as in 
um, if we get in an argument or if we do something to irritate each other or, you know, if we're just having a bad day, you know, stuff like that to where you are just angry or you're sad or you're upset or whatever. We've learned that there's so, it takes so much more energy and effort into not talking or into avoiding each other or into um, just kind of brushing aside. Like it takes too much energy. But I am just so thankful, so, so, so thankful. I can't say it enough. How thankful I am that not only did God send me my soulmate, because not everyone um, experiences this. Not everyone experiences or has the opportunity to meet their soulmate. Um, so not only am I so thankful and grateful that God allowed me to see and meet and trust him and allow me to um, fall in love with my soulmate, but just the fact that God has literally been a beacon of light in our marriage and our relationship in general, but just, you know, in our three year marriage, just he has really did his thing. Um, it's just been an honor to see, not only to be with Dion, but, and be able to marry him, but also just to kind of, to see the man that he has grown into. And also it's been an honor just to be able to, um, see the things that God has allowed to happen in our lives together. Um, not, not even together, just in Dion's life, things that I have seen God manifest in Dion's life and just kind of how things had just have just turned around and like how everything that Dion's really, honestly, everything that Dion's wanted, um, he's been able to achieve and go after and get. And so it's just been wonderful to see. And then with me and Dion reaching three years, it's just amazing to see kind of where we are now compared to where we were then. So that's enough of that. I'm going to start editing this vlog. Um, probably eat some leftovers, wait for Dion to come home and then I'll talk to you guys later. Hey y'all, so ignore my little do-rag I got going on. Let me put this light on. Ignore my little do-rag I have going on. I'm clearly about to go to bed. I'm just waiting on this pizza to get done so I can eat and then hit the bed. I hate that I'm eating so late, but I was editing um, today's vlog and I got to upload it, but by the time I got done, it was like 10.30. I, I, don't, like, I don't know where the time went. So anyways, I'm just now getting a chance to eat. Gonna eat this real quick and then go to bed. But y'all, let me tell y'all, so Dion's getting ready for his first day of orientation tomorrow for school. <laughs> and he's like a, such a big kid. He literally is acting like such a big kid. He's right here trying to like pick out his outfit and stuff. <laughs> and he's like so like antsy. It's so cute to watch him because he's like trying to like pick out his outfit. You know, like, you know how kids are like on the first day of school. He's like trying to pick out his outfit. He's like asking my opinion, babe. You know, should I do this belt or this belt? This pair of socks or this pair of socks? Um, this cardigan and no cardigan. Bow tie or pin? Like, he's like just doing it the most. But it's so cute to watch because he's just so, <laughs> he's just so excited. Uh, so crazy. <laughs> he's just so excited. So anyways, he's like, now he's like over there hanging up his clothes in the closet. Because he got to be fresh, you know. I had told him, I had told him earlier that he's the first, he's the only black person, the only black male in his class that he got to represent. Yes, represent for the for the for the black boys, <laughs> for the black chocolate boys, because he's the only um, the only chocolate only, boys dead, only black male in his class. Chocolate boys so, dead. Up. He got to do it right. He got to do it right. Y'all see his haircut? Hey y'all! Oh, oh, tell me uh, about, about, uh, about the story. Tell me about the story. Hey y'all! Look, so <laughs> funny, funny story today, right? <laughs> anyway, so I drove around Austin for like. 30 to 45 minutes looking for a barber shop, a black barber shop. I'm in the south side of Austin, which is predominantly Hispanic. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I couldn't find one. So I just started going into like places, ah, <laughs> places black people work, uh, people work just walking black, into stores, y'all. Just walking into stores, asking people like, hey, you know any black barber shops around <laughs> He said he went. He said he went to Big Lots and asked the first black person that he saw if there's a barber. Around. Hey, look. So I scoped this woman out. She had a haircut. I forgot her name. Shout out to the woman with the burgundy haircut. It was cool. But, but anyways, yeah. So I walked up to her and I was like, "Hey, excuse me." And she worked at Big Lots, so it was a plus. So it wasn't even awkward. That awkward. I was like, "Do you know any black barbers around here?" She was like, "Yeah." Actually, it's one down there by Chuck E. Cheese. And I was just like, where does that? 
Is it any good? What's going on? She was like, yeah. I was like, you know the name of the salon or whatever? Dude did his thing. Like, listen to me from top to bottom. Like, clean me up, dog. Like, Y'all, he walked in the house. He was so excited. He dog. was like, he was like, baby, I finally <laughs> found a guy who, who, who gets it right. No, nah, like, Cause he was, everybody. Because he was struggling in Dallas. Like, he went like, to like 20 different barbers in Dallas because he didn't find anyone that he liked that much. I'm so picky. Like, dog, y'all don't understand how picky I am. And I don't mind paying. Y'all don't understand how picky I am, though. Like, anybody yeah, can't just touch my head. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways. But y'all. <laughs> but anyways, I'm a little bit jealous, though, because now that Dion found a barber, I gotta find me a hairstylist. Not... Ladies, I don't know how hard that is to find a hairstylist. So. Anyways, I'm gonna finish eating this pizza, um, get in the bed, call it a night, and talk to you guys tomorrow. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful. To be your faithful. And loving husband. And loving husband. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful. To be your faithful. And loving wife. And loving wife. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. Cause I give you all of me And you give me all I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace What God has joined together, let no man separate You may now kiss the bride